And so, um, Tom Sturgeon, Jim Riley, Joe Zilli, like Harry Grace, Bernard LeChance, DJ Day, Philly Duquin, Ron Elton Anderson, Don Wiley, 1961, Libya's Bass Band, Oyster Cracker Man, um, Bitted Bat, Four Blue Boy Boxes, uh, GPS Pesso Robo, Rapist Knight, uh, Red Randy, Red Gordon, Team El Cortez, and um, Ellery's. Jim Hall, Bill Duvall, and Doug King. Do you know how many people Bernard, Perlita, and Dave care encounter in Western your team there? In the medical and science community, you probably can't stand you people right now. Oh, Pickett Street, Jake, Jamaica Street. About how stupid you are for running your fag prison inmate story with Bernard, with Ellery, and that bed bugs and all that crap. The misery that you guys put people in. So, let me tell you something, Bernard. Remember, VA hospital and other hospitals, how many, how the story that you may have on the group of you, all right? And the stuff that you do. So if you believe something, I'm like, give Bernard and the crybaby Carney and the ghetto life pretty to their hypothetical team Yahoo, Don Wiley, give them their hypothetical, even though I didn't. Okay, suppose I killed Kim, Katie, or Bailey, or um, the Pueller daughters, or uh, the Schwartzes, or whatever. Supposedly I killed them. Then I go, ladies and gentlemen, use that hypothetical to save those girls' lives and any other girls or, you know, or, or children or people. Okay, Bernard, there, now what? Now we have you guys' crybaby Carney story here in San Diego, Colorado, Aurora, or wherever you decide to spread your prison fag story, Bernard. Now what? Okay? My team is not going to wait for you to decide, crybaby broadcaster faggot Bernard because you're the one that has the bed bug stuff going on all this crap making people sick on purpose especially when they know people put in all the work not to have to be sick and then the crybaby carny show comes through with the the <laughs> crap that you got going on out here in this city and throughout the nation Bernard so good doctors and scientists in the scientific community are going to do what Bernard learn about the hypothetical and then solve the problem So, again, Bernard, the people you should have respected in your team of dumb shit would be Apple, Google, Microsoft, because Google's the starting platform. You guys didn't need the two, but you did it anyway. YouTube, and then Intel, Lockheed, NASA, um, IHS, you know, a plethora of companies that, you know, they have the, 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 um, the uh, employee pool. You all should have, should have also in, in, in respected Hollywood celebrities stuff like that, Bernard. Okay, because they have the money, right? They they help drive the nation to a direction. So I give them the hypothetical, but we now know that Bernard and the Lacarni and the country and Western and Perita's ghetto life are the ones that go around doing the stupid shit, making people sick. So. They're going to give you the hypothetical, Bernard, and you live in the hypothetical realm of supposedly I killed Kim, or all these people per said that I killed. Then the scientific community is going to use that hypothetical and the medical community to solve a problem, which is generally going to do what? Benefit their families first, because they know you, Bernard, are a prison fag that attaches to people ruining their lives and the one giving the orders to do bed bugs everywhere and passing the infection like the you know, the cowboy country and western trail across the United States, keeping people sick. You're the dumb fuck, Bernard, because you're the one that, you're the, you're the ones that just passed the disease for your war. War, <laughs> what? Spreads and causes disease. So, we teach people, the children, how to avoid <laughs> your crappy story, okay? So, you got a hypothetical, Bernard, but you're the ones that fucking bit it all out with your fucking jealousy and your fag story. LGBT. <coughs> and all they got, like I said, do, all they got to do is track how many times they get sick in relation to Kimberly having a cold on there too, see? So her and I, even though we may not agree, are bonded together, and they could use that to save people's lives. <laughs> how to cure the cold, the flu, coughing, um, <laughs> the bed bugs thing. So all the stuff that you guys solved that you destroyed, Bernard, benefits my friends who have a brain. Understand?
And why you're not getting the benefits of it, Bernard, and your team is because your team dumps shit of faggatory rape and murder and lies, Bernard. That's right. If, you, if you're into that shit with the porn industry or whatever, they know that as a stigmatism to it. Or an astigmatism, but a, a reputation to it. So they're going to avoid it to solve real problems. Bernard, you and your group with Joe enjoyed people shitting, all that stuff, whispering faggot, all that nasty stuff that he giggles, being a fag, thinks it's all funny. People who have smart who want to avoid the problems and don't want to live in the bullshit lifestyle that you have, Bernard, move away. Just like you have the problems here, and then you have Beverly Hills, Hollywood, right? So those people moved up there with their money to get away from the problems here, and it goes up. But if you set out your problem on top of them, Bernard, for your country and western faggot hick, and, and the pickets and the tech and all that shit, right? They now know who the group of you are who have who are spreading the disease and keeping people in your prison fag story, Bernard. So the people who actually have the mouth, the scientific community and the medical doctors and the firefighters and the doctors and the police, you have to deal with you guys a shit, take my information and go, ah, this is how we avoid Bernard the Lacarney and his groups of faggatory story. Because Bernard the Lacarney and Doug King and all them like to be prison fag with Dalton. And the, the Negroes like to be prison nasty stank fag. That's how we avoid their problems because they don't ever want to change. So yes, I right, you guys are included, but you're team dumb fuck. Because the people who know and are associated with you, Bernard, who don't want to deal with your shit, take my stuff and go, oh, we want to help those people like at NASA and all those things, so we don't have to live that way. The Hollywood celebrities, Joe lied to all that shit. Rubble Rapist Night, Red Randy, all that. There you guys go. Your three time failure football game. All the things that you obsess in, Bernard and Harry. The problems that you created, people are going to use to circumvent and get around. So I gave you guys your hypothetical, even though I never touched those girls or killed them. And guess what? Those girls that you said I killed, Bernard, they're probably the ones that kicked your ass because Robo Knight and all you guys lie. And so they learn that we how to circumvent. You men's lie. Because they found out that the group of you men, Bernard and your team of prison packs, are the ones that are making everybody sick. Related to those four churches. And then from there, all they gotta do is avoid the problem. Get it, Bernard? Your story with your ghetto life of Perlita and you making Dave and, 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 and Perlita and Adam and, and um, John or whoever more special than anyone else makes you guys who <laughs> and your stucker cowboys that are the problem. Joe, Harry. So you guys don't get any benefit from what's going on until you change what you do. Because you guys are the ones that wrecked it in the first place here, you and Joe and Bernard, the little corny, Karen. Do do tell us the performers. Do, 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 do. That's how come you keep losing, Bernard, because there's other people like NASA and doctors and all those things that know you guys' story of stupidity for so long that didn't want to correct because you want to be crybaby jealous, they correct it. And they go, ah, oh, we now know how to cure this, a, a disease that Bernard and Ellery like to pass through lice and crab up that they forced on people. We know how to cure it the easy way by just not getting involved with that group of people. And, um, you know, there's a, here's something for up in another area of how to avoid it completely. Here, here, while these guys like to live in it. Understand, Bernard? Quit making more problems and then it would probably work for you guys. But you like to be the supposed leader of the BB4, Bernard, in your boxes and the Colts. Football. It's, what is your demise? Because I hate it. And those games, Bernard, because I didn't ever want to be a prison bag. But you guys forced it to be. And I never wanted to be Carney. I never wanted to be. Joseph likes Mr. Boy, so he'd be a prison fag too and be a fag. You know, because he likes to fuck boys. Point is, you guys created a problem there, Paso Robo Man, and you guys' lifestyle. So people learn how to avoid it because it was stupid to fuck in the first place. You guys like to be criminals, which causes to spread the disease. Because you guys are obsessed over prisons and property. And DJ Dave. So guess what, David? People in Israel, or Spain, or France, Japan, oh, they find out those who like to try to sit on their seat for a ruler that shouldn't be there. And it's generally the first ones who made them sick. So they learn how to avoid your dumbass. 
That's why we do. We want to help the super happy chicks, Dave, because they have more hygiene issues that they like to take care of before men do. And that's probably why you're losing, because women like to stay cleaner than men. So figure that part out. So men, you have to stay clean, but if you make it impossible, because you guys want the world, the women to smell your stink, they're gonna give you an answer. Fuck you. Understand, Bernard? Just like you guys did to them.